any longer live after the flesh, but unto him who died for them and rose again. Oh, you're haters of God, haters of Jesus Christ, and God's going to judge you for that. You crap on your feet the blood of Jesus Christ, and God's going to judge you for that. The wrath of God's going to be revealed against all your ungodliness, all your unrighteousness. Jesus says he's going to judge you. Oh! 
There will be many in the last day. Oh, don't you see that's you? Don't you see that young lovers are an offense to God? And God is going to trample you under his feet? You proclaim your own beauty. You proclaim that you're good, that you look good. God says he sees you. He says that from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, every part of you is full of sickness. It's full. God says it's like cuss-filled sores. From the top of your head all the way to the bottom of your feet. That's how God sees you. That's how God sees you. As wicked, as abominable, as hateful towards God, that's how God sees you. As all of your righteousness being filthy rags before God, that's how God sees you. Oh, that you would see yourself as God sees you. That you would see yourself as a hater of God. That you would see yourself as despicable to God. As you would see yourself as an abomination to God. That God might have mercy on you. Because God said, if you'll humble yourself before God, if you'll tremble at His word, then God will draw near to you. God says, cleanse your hand, you sinner, and purify your heart, you double-minded. That's you. You're double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Oh, oh, that you are Mardi Gras with peace, the wrath of God that is coming upon you. Oh, that you are Mardi Gras with peace, that Jesus Christ is going to destroy you with cruel wrath and with fierce anger. Oh, that you are Mardi Gras with peace, that Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on those who do not know God, who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that you would humble yourself. Jesus Christ is near to those who are humble. Jesus Christ is near to those who are contrite. Jesus Christ is near to those who tremble at his word. But that's not you. Because that's not you. Oh, prepare to meet your maker. Prepare to meet your God. The one who is going to destroy sinners. You do well. You do as well as the demons. Jesus is God. You do as well as the demons, sir. The demons proclaim that Jesus is God. The demons actually tremble at that, so maybe you don't do as well as the demons. Because the demons tremble when they hear that Jesus Christ is God. Because they know it is true. They believe it is true. But you must believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And believing, you must walk in faith that Jesus Christ will cause you to know Him, will cause you to obey Him, will cause you to love Him. Oh, the demons have no love for God. Is that you? You're just like a demon. You have no love for God. The demons have no love for God, and that's you. You rejoice in sin. You rejoice in ungodliness. You rejoice in unrighteousness. And God says love does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but love rejoices in the truth. Oh, how many of you rejoice in Jesus Christ right now? I rejoice in Jesus Christ because he is the way, the truth, and the life. I rejoice in Jesus Christ because he has the power to deliver from all ungodliness. I rejoice in Jesus Christ because he cleanses from all sin. I rejoice Jesus Christ, because he takes away the sins of the world. And you don't have that rejoicing. You rejoice in sin. And the wages of your sin is death. And the wrath of God is going to be revealed against all your ungodliness and all your unrighteousness. 